Violet Routier, she is a Thai Belgian singer songwriter. She did made her debut, well, not really debut, but she auditioned in the 2013 uh, The Voice Thailand. And since then, she has done movies, TV shows, and she's also uh, released several albums. Uh, Imagine is the latest one that she released and um, I promise you you will not regret <laughs> listening to her. I've been following her for a while. She's, she has such a unique beautiful voice and the way that she has grown, she has the way that she has matured, she has experimented so much on how to sing, different sounds and as I've said she writes her own songs. Just a, an amazing, amazing, amazing singer and let's get to it. So, so you'll know, you'll understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> she also conceptualizes many of her and co-directs, I think, many of her music videos. Talented artist. Okay, title is Imagine. I, so I haven't actually listened to this song. I I think I came across like a portion of it maybe several weeks ago, but I haven't actually listened to the entire song. This is the first time I'm actually listening to, uh, watching the music videos because I wanted to do a reaction. So several things. I think that, so I'm not sure, but I think the entire song is uh, her talking about a situation this, that she is imagining that would happen and it seems that this is the situation that she's that she is imagining is the guy leaving her or the guy not being in love with her anymore but i think that break so she did her first stanza and then it, there was a like a swooshing sound and it broke like dead silence for a split second and then came back i think that's a genius because that's if i'm right this is that's how i got the idea that probably she's imagining this entire situation uh, because of that break it kind of feels like um like a declaration like a thesis of some some sort kind of like a marker that break was some sort of a marker but the i mean beautiful voice right <laughs> such it's a haunting voice and i know that she she writes all of her songs so i know that she wrote this one too um, okay, so let's get to it's very sad. <laughs> it's very sad, and I think it's very fitting that she uh, barely used any instrument in the in the intro because it allowed me to concentrate on what she's actually talking about, and of course her beautiful voice. She can sing a cappella; it will, will not be a problem. So the break that I was talking about was this. There, that break. And so far, the piano is just uh, following her melody. <clears throat> so it's not really like, it's not really providing any kind of layer in terms of messaging and in terms of narrative. I think it's just supporting uh, what she's saying in the lyrics. Okay. That, like that breathy ending here, um, sounds like she's so spent. The song itself is very painful. It kind of pulls you. It sort of push, and it's all, and it's wonderful because it's really just her voice that's doing doing it to you. Because as I've said, the 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 piano is actually not diverting. It's not providing any sort of layer. Uh, it's just following her melody. And then there's, I don't know what that is. It could be a, a, a synthesizer, a, a MIDI. <laughs> that other 
like reverberating sound. But anyway, so there's not a lot of layer between the lyrics and the, uh, sorry, the, the melody and, and the instruments. The, the piano is just following her voice. So the pain that she's pulling you into is all because of her voice and her lyrics. And it's just, that has always been, that has always been her as a songwriter. She has that ability to single-handedly pull you into the kind of emotion that she wants you in to be in. And in this song, it's pain that she's trying to make you experience. Um, but that, so okay, I, I hope I can catch it. Let's see. There, that, 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 that drop feels like her heart is dropping. She's doing it all through her voice. So I'm rarely amazed with with love songs uh, because I feel like it's one of the most uh, common subjects in any kind of art piece, right? Love. So I'm I, I am rarely impressed <laughs> nowadays with a love song, but she uh, this is beyond impressed. She's really pulling me into the that pain that she's asking me to imagine. So I'm pretty sure, and it doesn't actually necessarily have to be like a romantic love it can be anything it can be um your parents or your children or 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 it could be a friend or it could be a, a romantic partner like she's pulling you into that world where what what if like what if the love is lost like could you would would you be able to stand seeing the person that you love be with somebody else right the the terror and this the 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 pain <laughs> the unimaginable pain that you will have to go through when that happens i'm i'm i am rarely affected with any kind of love song but it's just her voice is so haunting I wonder if you have you ever loved that way like you have given everything to the other person and now you're just in that moment of fear where you realize just how much you love the other person and you're kind of oh sh 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 shazam <laughs> what if you don't love me anymore I really think about these things by the way but she's just ah, this is why I love her And the cinematography, oh my god. That where you can barely see her. This scene where you can barely see anything, but you can you you the depth of the pain that she's putting you through, you can feel. You don't see anything, but you can feel the depth of the pain. And again, it's all because of the voice and it's all because of the lyrics. Just this is the best, one of the best cinematographies ever in a music video. I wish I could learn to like light like that. Oh, perfect. <laughs> and even the direction, you see how. Sometimes, because of your because of our fear of losing something, we tend to not be present in the moment because we're so concerned about is it going to end? How long is it gonna last? Our tendency is to not be present in the moment when, in fact, the bigger your fear 
if you're the bigger the fear of losing somebody, the the more present you should be in a situation. Because especially if you know that there's really nothing that you can do or you have done everything that you can do to protect something and the rest is just like up to whatever, then the more present you should become. And that simple scene, that's th- this simple scene communicates that perfectly. How she's getting distracted because of her fear and it was the guy that says, no, be with me. Be in this moment. Be present. Uh, the way that she transitions her voice, listen, listen to, I think that's, uh, so from, from her, from her chest voice, transitioning into her head voice, and then going into a mix, the, just her control. So she's singing with her, in her head voice, here, and then going into her head voice, sorry, chest voice and head voice, and then she's going into the mix. No mix and then head voice. That's just the control. She transitions so so easily. That's that's brilliant. Those pauses. And then she would time the pauses into basic. And she would always time that the pauses, that break, that split second of a break in the music into something um, worth freezing also in the moment, in the, the, the music video. So she's matching, she's matching this, the music with, with, the, with the visuals. So when the music pauses and you look at the visual, it's also a moment in this music video that's worth like capturing forever. So, let's see here, if I can catch it. There. See the pause. And this is that moment. Because from dancing and stuff, they're just now together. Like sitting, just being in each other's presence. Okay, and she'll do it again. There. Another pause, and this is another scene, but also the same. Like, this is a moment where you're just together, you're in each other's presence. And then here. Right? But, well, it wasn't quite a pause because there's that thing, because she's twirling. But you get the point where it's motion, 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 the music pauses, and so is the visual. It's in sync, that. And then another one where you're just gazing. And this is, perf- again, perfect cinematography where everything is blanked out, everything is black. Uh, well, you can kind of see that there's a wall between the on either side of the guy, but this where you're catching a glimpse of the man. That look, perfect. And her as well, just this beautiful cinematography. Yeah, so I do think that this is, I think I'm right in the beginning. I think this is, the song is just her asking, just imagining the possibility of losing the guy and her saying that I can't stand it. I've given you everything, please don't leave me. (laughs) Yeah, so I'm really, really impressed with love songs and I hope, um, but it's just that, that's that's, uh, what, 10 minutes of pain for me (laughs) to have to go through that the kind of emotion that she just put me through. But that's why I love her as a performer. That's why I love her as a singer. She has that ability to pull me into the kind of emotions that she, the emotion that her music is trying to communicate. Um, and th- that's why I love her. I love all of her music videos. She has that, she actually tells a story in all her music videos. She's not just about visuals, beautiful visuals. 
there, she's a storyteller uh, in her music and in her music videos. So I hope you give her a chance. Let's check out more of her. Please check out more of her works. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you have any, I hope you like that <laughs> as I did. Okay, so if you have any questions or your reactions or if you have any recommendations, please leave them in the comment section below. And you can also um, get in touch with me in any of the social media links that you are seeing on your screens right now. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Thank you.